we have offensive coordinator Coach Marsh, we have defensive coordinator Coach Caesar, and head coach Clarence McKinney. We will start with an opening statement. Yeah, well, we thought our guys went out and played as, about as hard as we can expect them to play. Uh, things didn't quite go our way, but we kind of shot ourselves in the foot a few times. Uh, great. Some mistakes that we're not accustomed to, but this being our first game, you know, we didn't know what our guys would go out and do. And, uh, biggest thing they, they played from the opening kickoff, and they didn't give up play until the final whistle. And we just got to go back to the drawing board and, and figure out those mistakes that cost us to win and, and get better. Coach, I think they uh, scored 24 on answers starting in that second quarter. Was there a point in the game where you felt it started to slip away? No, I, I felt like we were in it to the very end. You know, uh, mentioning that second quarter, yeah, it was uh, 17 to zero in the second quarter. And we, uh, that's something I have to look at the video to figure out what went wrong at that point, but give a credit to them, they made some adjustments. Uh, we didn't. Uh, so, you know, we, we got to play four quarters and not just a couple quarters. And the second quarter kind of hurt us. Coach Marshall, there are a lot of um excitement on your part to see some of your guys on the offensive end, you know, with some big plays, but also with the guy you got back there, quarterback? Uh, really, every day is exciting with that group, whether it's receivers or running backs, the whole line, the, the quarterbacks, uh, you saw or should have seen is both quarterbacks that were in the battle were voted team captains. Uh, and that's a testament to, to me what the result of today was. And what Coach was alluding to is our kids fought from start to finish. There is no other question about it, but excitement, yeah, that, that anytime you get to put all your blood, sweat, and tears from the last eight months on the field, we get judged by 11 Saturdays. And so, of course, there's going to be a lot of excitement with all those guys. But was it nice to see them compete to the, to the last whistle as well? Absolutely. There, there, there's nothing more than what you want as a coach. Coach talked about it earlier this week is the greatest compliment you can get from football is the other staff saying how hard your kids play. Uh, and so to me, that's one of the biggest things is our kids kept fighting and right now are ready to go back to the drawing board and really back to the office to watch it and get better tomorrow. Coach McKinney, this is obviously a huge game. Your first game, the first game, all the things that went with it. What was your message to the guys after the game about tonight? You know, the message is just keep doing what we're doing and getting better. You know, the results are going to change. Uh, we're, we're on the right track. I mean, you look at the stat sheet, we're, we played very disciplined tonight. We only had three penalties. Uh, we turned the ball over too much, and, and that just comes with us making the right decisions and taking care of the ball. You know, and, and if you can do those things, if you can do certain things, offensively stay on the field on third downs. I think we were six for 19. Defensively, we got to get off the field on, on, on third downs. And we can't give up the big plays. And in our kicking game, we can't give up as much yardage as, as we did on our kickoff cover team. What did you think about the play of your quarterback? I thought it was solid. You know, we, we got to do a better job of protecting him up front. I thought he made some really good decisions. Uh, there are some, some decisions I'd like to question because, you know, it didn't go our way. But I think he's going to get better. I think our team's going to get better under his leadership. And, and you know, once he and the receivers get on the same page, I think we're going to have a much more improved team. Um, today in the red zone, you guys truly struggled. What do you think you would do to fix that next week? Well, we work on the red zone every week. You know, uh, the one thing about uh, this this particular game is that when we got into the red zone, we, I thought we pressed and we didn't. We weren't patient. Those are things that you can't do. When you get in the red zone, you got to come away with, come away with touchdowns. Uh, we got down there a couple times. We didn't get points. Uh, we got down there and we had to kick a couple field goals. So uh, good teams come away with touchdowns when they get in the red zone. That's something we got to improve on. Coach, Jesus, what, what was it like seeing that offensive firepower, you know, up front? I know you, you know, you prepared for it coming into the season, but to see them have like Morton and Tucker, was that was that any different from what you had seen on film? Well, what we saw on film is what we saw tonight. We prepared for them. They came out. I thought we did well in spurts, and uh, we uh, just can't give up a big play like right before the half. Can't give up a big play like that right before the half. 
they, we knew they had some power because they didn't have the swag in certain areas last year. But uh, I thought we played well when we needed to. You know what I'm saying? Just that we didn't we didn't play. They fought hard, but we didn't make the stops on third down, get on the field when we needed to. How impressed were you by your defensive backs because they they played pretty good and they stopped uh, their, their star wide receiver from having a big night. Well, they, they did well. We played we played a lot of man coverage and they covered well and. Uh, we know their weapon number eleven is their weapon, and uh, they covered they covered it well. Uh, I was very impressed with the guys. Also for Coach Caesar, Big Ike got consistent pressure and was in the opponent's backfield a lot tonight. Um, just talk a little bit about what you saw from him. Ike played well. He played tough. He played with great technique. And uh, believe it or not, he came on the side and said, "Coach, I'm feeling good. I'm ready to go." And he did that. He performed well. And, uh, that was big. There's just some other things that we have to get fixed, but I did a great job today. We have time for three more questions. Coach Marsh, um, what, what was it about the previous defense that allowed, what that didn't allow Tredavion to get into his, um, into his offensive group tonight? Uh, a lot of what they did was play two over, and that we're going to expect that considering what he did last year numbers-wise, uh, especially in the vertical game, we know that they're going to play over the top, and we just got to be consistent underneath with him. Uh, and consistent at running the ball so they can't keep those extra guys on the individual. Uh, but we were able to get them a few touches, uh, but just not consistently. And that just goes back to us as coaches and myself, really on the offensive side of the ball, honing in on what we're doing and keep grinding away in the process of learning where the ball should go within the realm of what we do on offense. Coach McKinney, you talked, um, I talked to you at the SWAC media day and I got a chance to talk to you at, the, at uh, at Texas Southern Media Day, and you talked about the discipline. Where you, did you see that tonight? Were you proud of your kids in that? Uh, most definitely. I think uh, the three penalties show that we're a much more disciplined team. Uh, tonight just wasn't our night. We're going to continue our program the way we, we started with structure and with discipline, and uh, I promise you things are going to get better.